Hello and welcome. Myself Nitesh Pratham from Labview and Multisim. In this uh, tutorial, we will learn how can we continuously save our data on a spreadsheet, or you can say on CSV file using Labview. So let's try to write a code. Earlier, I had done so many videos, but still, uh, some person has uh, some doubts. So I am going to create a same kind of program. Okay. So far. Open your lab view, come into the block diagram, right click here, come into the front panel first. Okay, now right click, take a numeric control. Here, number of channel. number of channels after that take one more value to write to write the second value to right now I'm going to put inside this can I send it back so come here send it click here send back you can click and uh, you can come here no need to uh, okay let's come into the next top portion right click come here and take one more decorations place here so this one is for the generate data generate data Whatever the data you want to generate, I want to generate. I am I, here. I am giving that. I am providing that information. Okay. Now, write header. So if it, header means uh, whatever you want to write uh, before the whatever you want to write before your uh, data equations. Okay. So write write header. Here I am creating one string 2d string array so how can i create 2d string array so look at here i am taking a string control and placing in here after that right click right click change to array you can easily convert it into the array then increase the size now convert it into the 2d array slightly increase the size right click here come here index display you can close the index display okay so here i am it is here not as here i am going to give the name what name header info header info so tes test test name o p e r a t o r operator unit the testing UOL TAG voltage test NIT yes any test NIT 019 okay after that I need one more portion where I will specify my channel name 
where I will specify my channel name. So for that, come here. I'm taking this platform. Here I will specify my channel name. Okay. So write channel name. So here I'm write. So this box box is for the right. name so for the channel name we need one dra string one dra take a string right click create array increase the size okay add the increase the size visual okay great C H A W N E L channel and name name C H A W N E L channel one C H A W N E L channel two then C H A W N E L there's so many other way but uh, if you want to uh, learn something uh, with the Okay, now more about the programming so you can do these things. So, you want to write hardcore uh, concepts so you can use this logic, not more than that. Okay, it will not affect more than that. No, so. I think everything is set. Let's come into the block. Okay, take one more stop functions here. Come into the block diagram. I'm going to convert it into the i32. This two into the i32, if possible. No. So change it into the i32. Come into representation i32, and it's also i32. There is no rule, uh, no logic if you want, so you can uh, convert all those things as per your own concern. Okay, in the front panel, one things which uh, one more things which I have to take, and that is the very important, and that important thing is the file name. Come to the string and take a file path. Right, come here. Now let's try to start writing a program. So first of all, we will write header on the file path. So for that, right click, right click, come here, file, right click, delimited spreadsheet. Are there is any other functions? If you will get any right to spreadsheet functions, so come here. If you want, so you can select any other spreadsheet function are here, but I will take this right. Make a connection like this. Now, delimiters here. I'm going to set create constant, and then that delimiter will be this one, comma. Okay. After that, header info. Take this header info and make a connection like this. right click come here free label I'm taking a free label here 
W R I T right H E A D E R header right header come here take a decorations great now we need channel to write right here right click come here same functions you can take here make connection like this sorry make a connection like this okay create a pendant create constant yes rename it if you want so you can re remove this portions also Open a delimiter, create constant. These are the second one, right? Now, same thing I'm taking here, and same logic. I'm taking here and I am trying to jump okay the end for this one no issue right click Come into the view, open the tools palette, come here, now right click, come here, take a while loop and create a while loop concepts click the stop button value to write equate the value to write and select the functions greater than or equal to So here I am going to stable my conditions. Using these conditions, we can control the loop execution now. take a output and make connection like this right click come here and take a for loop and make a connection like this after that right click take a random number data and place here take output outside right click 
come to the file write delimited spreadsheet create constant true it's, it will be also true right and create delimiters create constant this one now Now here I am going to change it, write data file, write data file and here I am going to set it, generate data file, generate data, everything set, so here I will come, make connection like, okay. my favorite color okay done so program is done come into the front panel right click here and come here and here I am going to create right click okay I am going to create new dot csv new dot csv and open it's not found no issue right click come here and create a sorry right click come here and create excel open this excel and try to run so here I am going to give the value 5 and 20 run let's see uh, there is any data has come or not on this excel sheet okay great so here i'm going to create one more excel sheet double click and open it and save as new with new and comma delimited explicit yes now I am going to select the new comma delimited explicit and run come here and check any data is present or not yes the proper data here I am getting Okay, so you can also write this program to learn how can we use our proper write to spreadsheet file functions. So thank you for watching this video.